Yeah, yeah. Hello, I'm Joe Steyer. I'm a 14. I'm going to be explaining the lathe today. The purpose of machine shop cleanup and maintenance activities is to keep all parts of the machine shop clean, organized, presentable, and accessible at all times. TAs are to perform a thorough and detailed cleaning at the times assigned on the TA daily task sheet. Keeping the lathe workstation clean and tidy is expected throughout the rest of the shift. There are six lathes that require regular maintenance. Two or three TAs will often be assigned to clean and maintain the lathes at any one time. This group is designed to distribute the workload and allow TAs to spend more time cleaning each lathe. Working in groups provides a chance for inexperienced TAs to learn cleaning and maintenance practices from more experienced ones. In addition, working in groups creates camaraderie, which makes the work go faster and generally more enjoyable. The list of cleaning and maintenance activities is posted on the side of each lathe just below the lathe number. TAs are to perform the tasks in the order they appear in, starting with the cleaning activities and then proceeding to tool maintenance. The cleaning activities start with removing any leftover stock material and returning it to the stock area. This includes wood, plastics, and metals namely, aluminum, steel, brass, copper, etc. When you get to the stock area, follow the posted instructions for stock arrangement. Remove and properly replace all tools left on top of lathe cabinet. Put lathe workstation tools in the proper storage space in the lathe cabinet and return all other tools to their proper drawer in the tool crib. Wipe all tools with a paper towel before storing them. Wear gloves while cleaning chip deposits to prevent from getting cut by the sharp metal chips. Remove chips on all lathe surfaces using compressed air. Clean dirty surfaces of the lathe and lathe cabinet using paper towels and simple green. The magical stuff. <laughs> Remove chip deposits from the bed of the lathe by sliding out the bottom drawer of the lathe, retrieving chips, and place them in the chip bins located near the lathes. When the chip bins are getting full, empty chip bins in, dis in chip disposal containers located behind the elevator in the loading dock. Make sure to check the label of the chip bin so that you don't mix chips with recycling metals. Sweep and mop the area around the lathes as needed, cleaning any water or coolant spills using cleanup equipment from the custodial closet. To turn the lathe on and off, follow the startup and shutdown procedures on the left panel of the lathe display pendant. This is critical for maintaining lathe tool accuracy. Check the first two lathe cabinet drawers to make sure all lathe tools are properly placed in their slots. If any tool is missing, find it and return it to the correct location. Do not swap tools from other machines. Perform maintenance on all the tools. For example, replace batteries on digital calipers and recalibrate the micrometers as needed.
Replace all chipped or broken lathe tool inserts with inserts located in the lathe restock cabinet in the workbench area. Check the collet drawer to ensure that all collets are properly replaced. Ensure all collet slots are filled with appropriate collets and replace collets from the big blue lathe ca tool cabinet, not the 5C lathe collet drawer in the tool crib. If there are no replacements, email Kevin and the missing collets and temporarily borrow one from a chuck lathe, lathe 1 or 2. Check the oil level below and left of the X and Z wheels. If it's low, meaning a 3 or less, find an instructor or experienced TA to show you how to refill it. Check to see whether there is enough coolant. If the coolant level is low, add coolant. We are done. The cleaning and daily maintenance of the lathe working area. If you have any questions, please ask the instructors or more experienced TAs. We would love to talk to you.